Hey YouTube, I'm getting into the AK platform uh, right now with the current political climate. Uh, seems to be one of the cheapest and most available cartridges out there is the 762 by 39. Figured I'd go ahead and jump on this, you know, while I still can and uh, ride the wave. But anyway, I just recently picked up this Palmetto State Armory. This is a GF3. This is a third gen. I actually currently go all the way up to five GF5. So there's five gens out now. Got this. One of the grips I've always had about the AKs is how small the grip is. Most aftermarket grips, you know, don't generally get too much larger than what's currently there. And I'm 6'5". You know, my hand's pretty large. This is about almost 11 inches across from my thumb to my pinky. So for me, a small grip really does affect how I like and enjoy shooting a rifle. So I went looking for what the options were for an AK. And it seems like there's only a few that kind of add some girth to it. But this is the one that I ended up choosing. So this is a mission first grip and the reason that I like it is because it's modular right so it's very similar to how a Glock backstrap you know interchangeable backstraps are it's got a little plastic pin down here but it also has a front strap as well it comes with three different backstraps and I have the biggest one on there now but um, you can see some of the profiles of these other backstraps here you see how the one I have on there bulges out quite a bit this is the more narrow one. And then I have the three finger groove for the front strap. It comes with one finger groove. And then just a plain. Feels really nice in the hand and it makes a substantial difference. I mean, for, for those of you who know what the large ergo grips feel like on an AR-15, this is very similar. It's not as wide in the palm swell on, you know, the ergo grips have a really fat palm swell on the sides. But other than that, it feels very comparable to the ergo grips. So I'm very, very happy with this. It makes it a lot more enjoyable to hold and manipulate. So for those of you considering that, take a look at this. I'm going to remove it and do some caliper measurements so you can get an exact measurement difference on what the stock style handguards compared to when compared to that. As you can see, I have a RPK. This is a Romanian RPK. Um, but I'm getting into the AK platform just for added fun, ammo availability, ammo price with the current political climate. Hopefully ammo prices don't last, don't stay ridiculous for that much longer, but I don't foresee it changing anytime soon. So I wanted to go ahead and get some of this stuff so I can still enjoy my Second Amendment. Funny story how I got this RPK. I was actually looking for this. This is a Romanian battlefield pickup from Atlantic Firearms. So it's not the AES 10B, but it's pretty close. And um, I was looking for one of, I was looking actually for an AES 10B and couldn't find one, couldn't find one, looked everywhere and decided that I went ahead and I found a Yugoslavian M72 parts kit, an RP, RPK parts kit, and went ahead and purchased that. It actually should be getting delivered here today or tomorrow, but went ahead and purchased that because I just couldn't find, I really wanted the, the Romanian, I couldn't find it. So I went ahead and got that parts kit, and then the next day, somebody posts this, this up here pretty close to me. It was a good price and uh, went ahead and picked that up. So uh, now I have the Yugo parts kit and I have this Romanian RPK. This is a brand new one, unfired. The uh, furniture on it is really, really nice, really cool looking. Uh, and what Atlantic Firearms does with these Battlefield pickups is they kind of mimic a uh, worn finish on the receiver and on the, the dust cover and everything. But I'm pretty happy with this pickup here. And for those of you who know what you're looking at, I also found some 40 round Bakelite mags. These are pretty hard to find. I was looking for the Star and Shield ones, 
but those are getting pretty, pretty crazy expensive. So I just went ahead and settled for these because I felt like I needed those for the RPK. And for those of you who are interested in following along with what I'm gonna be doing, I'm planning on doing several mods to this AK and doing some different accuracy comparison tests to see what actually makes the most difference in your accuracy. I already changed the grip. I haven't shot it before changing that, so I probably won't change this back to see if this makes a difference. Although for me, I feel like it will. I'm planning on changing the stock um, to the Magpul foldable stock. Those, for those of you who don't know, also have adjustable cheek risers. You can snap onto those Magpul stocks. And I'm gonna get a different trigger and do a different, do different types of maybe just adjustable gas piston stuff like that. Just do different small mods and do an, this accuracy test with the same exact ammo as I did prior to see what actually makes a difference and what doesn't. Because for those of you who are just getting into this like myself, you know, you kind of want to know where to put your money into initially. So that way you, you're not just wasting money to get your desired result. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take this grip off and we'll go ahead and start measuring it. So it comes with four of these plastic pins. Two of them are obviously extras. One side is a little bit more bulged than the other side. And you can see it's very similar to the Glock style backstrap adjustments. You just push them in and it holds it with tension. I wanted to do a side by side so you can see the difference in the actual size of the grips itself. You can see how much wider the mission first is. You can see the angle, it just fits your hand so much better than the stock grip. So let's take some measurements. Another thing that I really like, you know, not that I currently run any optics on this now, but it does come with this. It's a battery holder. Uh, I'm sure they have some other inserts you can put in if you run any kind of optic, you know, battery powered optic. Um, it just slides in the handle right there and this closes up. So you get that added benefit, you know, of having a small storage compartment if that's something that is important to you. I'm sure you could add something else in there other than batteries if you wanted. But that's just an added benefit, again, of using this over a stock handguard. So let's see. Looks like it's about an inch, 1.25 inches. Looks like it's about 1.25 inches wide roughly. So, um, yeah, the biggest thing for me that I wanted was just fitting into my hand a little bit better. And you can see it just contours your hand really good. You get a nice firm grip on it. it just feels much more pleasant to, act to actually hold and grip for larger, larger hands. At least. The width of this is 0.89. The width of the mission first was 1.25. So 1.58. 1.58. And this, on the skinniest part of this grip, is wider, 1.63. That's on the skinniest part of this grip. It's already wider than the entire grip right here. Let's go down to the fattest part. Looks like 2.13. Let's go just, just below that rib right there, just to see. 
1.98 so See the contour angles too are just much more ergonomic. So because of the uh, little compartment that it has in here, it just uses a little screw, a lot shorter than the stock screw. You know, the stock screw goes up through the entire handguard. But this is the mounting hardware that it uses. Again, I'm just very, very happy with how this feels in my hand. Even, even though I was looking for the biggest grip. I was still nervous that it was going to be too small for what what I would really prefer to shoot with. If you'd be interested in some of the AK platform type videos I'm going to be making, just uh, you know, off the top of my head, I'm probably going to be doing an ammo comparison out of the Palmetto State Armory rifle. Um, this has not been shot yet, so this is a brand new rifle, and I'm going to be doing. A comparison and accuracy between all of the common steel case rounds. I'm also trying to find some brass, some spent brass cases and do some reloads to see if I can maybe even better the accuracy a little bit. And um, I got a binary trigger for one of the RPKs. I'm not sure if I should put it in this Romanian or put it in the Yugo. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below which one it should go in or even put it in the AK here, I'm not sure. Um, but I am for sure gonna get an ALG trigger for this here before too long. And again, like I said, just do accuracy comparisons based on different upgrades that I make. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please like and subscribe, and I appreciate the support.